okay, we're putting in the last set of poles here on top of the mirror box. We're tightening them up. All right. All right, nice and tight. So, now what you have here is your upper tube assembly. All right, which uh, you can orient in such a way where the focuser is always on the same side of the scope that the servo cat altitude motor is on. All right, so that's always something to keep in mind uh, that it always ends up on the right side because your finder scopes here are oriented uh, so that the focuser sits on the right side of the scope so it's all ergonomic. And uh, what you can do with the shroud, okay, you just keep it kind of bunched up over the top. So you have it wrapped around the base of the upper tube, and then any excess, you just wrap over top. All right, pick it up. And you start dropping the poles. It's the same thing. You've got the blocks. They sit on top of the poles here. They all go in. Of course, the first six always go in pretty good. It's just the last two that are... A little bit of a pain, of course you also need the shroud. By the way. Alright, this with practice. It gets to be old hat. You get to be good at it. So you drop them on there. Same thing as the bottom, you tighten these top ones up. As tight as you can get them. And also when you're going around, I usually take my left hand, I put it up inside on the ring and push down so that the poles actually bottom out inside, so the inside of the, the blocks, so that there's no uh, sway back and forth, there's no uh, um, you know, room for play in there. Just like this one, you can see you can push down, make them seat all the way down, and then tighten up the thumb screws. Okay. All right, so we got that. We tighten these guys down. And all that's left to do is to pull the shroud down on the scope. And we'll actually cut away for this. We'll come back and we'll do a few more uh, finishing touches.